This is Minecraft. This is not Minecraft. So, what is it? You're about to enter a first-of-its-kind video model, a game engine trained by millions of gameplay hours. Every step you take will shape the environment around you in real time. Yes, so I've heard. Oh, upload your own, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so if you're here, it's far more likely that you clicked on this video because you're curious about the topic, and less likely that you're here because you know who I am. So I'm going to get right into the gameplay. If you're interested in checking out this uh, AI software, I will put a link in the description. And if you want to know my own thoughts about it, I'll discuss those as soon as we're done going over the footage. It is about... 10 minutes long and I will chop it down just a little bit and then at the end of the video if you're at all curious about my own gameplay experience or what I do on my channel I'll talk about that as well all right shall we give this thing a try then you know these all look like straight rips from <laughs> Minecraft uh, worlds I mean, I don't know, there's a lot of different biomes shown in this one, so maybe not? I don't know. Let's click this and see what happens. Session expired? What? I haven't even done anything. I better pick something quick. Oh, oh gosh, this is weird. What, what, is, what is this? Can I... Whoa, whoa, this is... This is incredibly slow. I don't mean like really slow. The quality's not great. I mean, I can't even tell what it is I'm holding. Is there any way to make this bigger? I already have a bunch of. Whoa! Items are morphing uh, as I go. I already have iron. So apparently I can make a crafting table if I can get my mouse. Over what? Excuse me. I am not. Okay, I knew this was a little cursed, but I mean, this is what? <laughs> this is really bad. This is really bad. Okay. Whoa. Sorry. I know I'm not saying anything, but like, whoa, and what? And and it's because this is legitimately painful and I do understand like my computer is not necessarily as as up-to-date so is, is that a cloud or are those blocks because there's like three different styles of clouds in the sky right now now it's changing okay somehow I'm, I'm walking through some planes when I could have sworn a minute ago I was looking at mountains or something. Wasn't this supposed to be the cliffside one? The the ocean one? I mean, there's some mountains and... Oh, oh god, a tree... What? What? Clearly, I've started building a house. Um... Am I floating? And is that an animal? What are those things on the ground? Am I gonna fall? No fall damage. And the game apparently didn't want me to take fall damage because it put hay bales in my hands. Oh, whoa. Whoa, okay, so we have a wooden, <laughs> wooden prison. Uh, thanks for the torches. Wow, it's it's an oddly large house. Can I find my way in? Kind of scared to go in. Um. Okay, it thought I wanted a window. Hold on, can I? Great. My empty spot 
What? Oh my gosh. This is... This is a freaking fever dream. Alright, so let's talk about this. Oh no. No, did I just lose my house? I just lost my house. And... What? Oh dear. This was flat a second ago. Oh. Okay. That's all we get. Let's see what happens if I try to do the village thing. Discord contest. Kill a zombie and have rotten meat drop. Explode a creeper, get shot by a skeleton, or punch the ender dragon. I'm assuming that's like trying to do things here with the AI. That's got to be impossible. I don't even know how you would get to the end with this. So we do have some village buildings. I don't know what I'm standing on. I, I, I don't want to look down too far or else stuff will disappear. Meanwhile, the building has turned into... I don't have a reference for that in real life, but surely I can get sugarcane, right? Like, that's... I, I'm, I have a sugarcane forest. And behind it is something new. Okay. I'm going to overload this thing just by trying to get sugarcane. Wow. Um, it almost feels like it deliberately doesn't want me to get anywhere. Excuse me? Uh, can I Can I get out of here? Oh, now we're in a jungle, I guess. This is kind of cool. Weird, massive jungle tree that I'm struggling to look up to. This is a... It's, it's a tree house? I don't know. Cause, because when I was looking up, and now I'm looking down. You know what it reminds me of? Um, was it the... Was it Escher? Who, who was it that made the paintings of, you know, like the impossible staircases and stuff? I don't know, but I cannot break that green block. And this is... Not gonna lie, I, this thing is kind of making me nauseous. I, I, I'm sorry for the images on your screen right now because we are, we are just engulfed in green. Okay, let's see. Yes, figure out AI, figure out that this is the ground. This is definitely ground, right? Can we look up? Oh look, there's our house. From last time. No? I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. There's there's a lot of stairs. It's almost like if I move quickly... Whoa, they turned into blocks. If I move quickly, then it just keeps repeating the blocks to the side because it, it doesn't know how else to keep up with me. I don't want it. I don't want sand, though. Let's let's see if we can we can force it to rethink here. Yeah, let's look at our inventory for a second. It just it's funny because it has controls, but then it's it's like randomly grabbing things and moving them for me when I don't do it. Uh, what? No, I don't want. I'm so confused. All right, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna quit this here in a moment, and then we're gonna we're gonna talk about this where I don't have to be distracted by the fact that water just starts appearing next to me. Let's yeah, you know what? Let's go in the water though. That sounds like that definitely sounds like a an experiment, right? Will it let me get there? It keeps adding levels as I go down. I can't get... Like, let me go in the water. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, yes, I'll be back in a moment. Alright, so let's talk about this. 
This is clearly an experimental project, and if you're worried about it replacing the mainstay that is Minecraft, there's still a long way to go. I'm assuming that downloading the software would give you more than 5 minutes of playtime per session, but I'm not convinced that you'd necessarily see mobs at all. I never encountered a single animal, and given that the AI keeps re-rendering the terrain and sky, I'm not sure you'd be able to enter a cave or that the sun would even set. Items in the hotbar and inventory not only spawn in with you, but would morph at random even if you're holding them. As far as gameplay goes, that means that collecting blocks or items seems pretty pointless, because you can't at all guarantee that you get to keep what you collect. And there's no point in building anything when it will just disappear the moment you turn around. Obviously there are ethical issues that are raised when the opening claims that the AI has been trained by millions of hours of gameplay. Since there's no way the developers played for millions of hours, this suggests that from small channels like mine to the greatest names in Minecraft, uh, all of them are potentially having videos fed into a learning algorithm. Interestingly enough, nowhere does it even say that it's based on Minecraft gameplay, but uh, come on. So here's what I really think. I'm no programmer, but I would imagine there are ways to utilize AI for parts of gameplay, while maintaining traditional coding for major elements. Programming the AI to generate new terrain while moving previously created blocks into memory could potentially solve the issue of morphing blocks and items, or perhaps allowing AI to control hostile mob movement while keeping it out of other core gameplay mechanics might create a unique and challenging experience for the player without also feeling like they are just wandering through an endless ephemeral dreamscape. Right now, the AI experiment feels less like a sandbox than a zero-visibility sandstorm. The lack of permanence of anything is jarring and confusing instead of novel and inviting. The real takeaway here is that AI is budding and growing and will change the world. My personal hope is that we can harness that power in discreet ways to make it a positive change. AI augmentation to existing processes may be very reasonable and useful, but allowing it to, for example, entirely run a game based off of the average experience of millions of players only results in a subpar experience for all of those players. Hopefully you enjoyed this little journey into what Minecraft probably looks like in your dreams, although for me the warden is usually involved. I don't often do reaction content, and I'm not big on trying to bandwagon trends, but if you're curious, please feel free to check out other videos on my channel. My major focus right now is a Minecraft guide series that has 13 published chapters so far, and dozens more lined up, and is meant to make both Java and Bedrock editions easily accessible to new players, and maybe also refresh experienced players on basics, mechanics, and tips. My other major project is an n-dimension transformation that spans multiple millions of square meters, making it one of the largest you're likely to even find. Hit that subscribe button and join me if any of that sounds interesting to you, or at the very least, I hope you enjoyed today's excursion through AI-generated Minecraft. As always, thank you for watching.